we will now start with the separation of the mixture it is a physical method of separation we will transfer the entire quantities of the weight packet into a 100 ml beaker we transfer the mixture into our beaker okay and to this we are going to add a separating agent which for today's mixture is water because the method of separation is a physical method so we will add two test tubes of water one test tube i have added i'm adding another test tube of water and we will stir it properly for 3 to 5 minutes that is to dissolve every crystal of acid that may be present that is very important that we do dissolve all of the acid because for two reasons we do not want the acid uh, crystals to be mixed with the other component which is the neutral component for this mixture it will affect the yield okay the uh, acid yield would be lower and the neutral yield will be more which would give us a wrong result and also it will affect the reactions the contaminant in the of the acid in the neutral component will affect the identification of the neutral component so it is very important that we separate the two components very very completely and that can be ensured by proper dissolution of the water soluble acid so we will stir it well for 3 to 5 minutes we have stirred this mixture very properly for 5 minutes and now we are going to filter it using a regular filter paper so let's proceed for filtration will wash this residue with water to remove the water soluble component and also to help transfer the rest of the residue onto the filter paper small quantities of water to be used and more washings to be given it is more effective the paper transference is always to be done using a glass rod to prevent drippage and loss of compound we will just give it one last washing to remove whatever few crystals are left we have completed the filtration as you can see we have got this white residue on our filter paper and we have got a filtrate the component a which is the water soluble acid is in the filtrate which we will recover by evaporation and this is our component b which is a water insoluble neutral so we will proceed we have washed this residue with water by adding water to it we remember when we had transferred we had washed it and now we will proceed to dry this residue so we will just take this filter paper and open it on an asbestos sheet clean asbestos sheet that is the residue okay what we will do is we will keep it covered like this to prevent any of it flying off on drying the other important reason is we will press dry this residue now press dry this residue means we will on the covered side we will take a fresh filter paper and press it to remove all excess water okay we will keep doing this till we have we, we do not get any more wetness on this filter paper as you can see this is almost quite dry and now we will proceed to dry this however one important precaution that we need to take is to keep it at least a foot away from the flame to ensure that the compound is not melted you can also check if the compound is low melting which i shall show you how to do it after this but now let us proceed to dry uh, recover our compound 
from the filtrate from the filtrate that we have got of component A. So we will transfer this filtrate, the residue we have kept on the asbestos sheet, this is the filtrate which we will transfer onto into an evaporating dish. And we will proceed to dry this by evaporating it by boiling. Let me switch on the gas. So we will boil the solution with stirring and reduce it to a viscous liquid. So we will continue to boil this and reduce it to a viscous liquid. This might require some amount of time because the water is about 10, minimum 20 ml which we had added. So it would require about 10 to 15 minutes of boiling to be reduced to a viscous liquid. After it has been reduced to a viscous liquid, we will transfer it onto a water bath. I will just show you how that is to be done. We have boiled the filtrate to less than half the volume. White residue has been collecting on the sides of the evaporating dish. And now we will complete the process of evaporation on a biogon, on a water bath. This is to be done to prevent charring of that component. Okay, so we will continue to heat this solution till complete dryness is achieved and we can recover our water soluble component. We have placed the evaporating dish on a water bath after reducing the quantity of the filtrate to less than half. And now we will proceed for complete dryness on a water bath to prevent charring of the water soluble component. We have achieved complete dryness and as you can see we have recovered our water soluble component okay by evaporating the filtrate to dryness this the last part is to be preferentially done on a water bath to prevent charring of the component hence this is the water soluble acid which we have recovered from the filtrate and its component a and this is the residue which we had got which is our water insoluble neutral compound for this mixture we will be identifying our water insoluble neutral which we shall look at in a different uh, video in my next video please do subscribe to this channel which is chem hub for further videos on chemistry lab separation of binary mixtures remember to subscribe to my channel dr j's chem hub